Hey everybody, my name is Zach Peterson and you probably know me from some other PCB design channels on YouTube. You've probably also seen some of the educational content that I create around PCB design. And today I'm gonna to be talking about Flux. Now, if you're not familiar with Flux, it's an online PCB design platform that includes everything you need to make a manufacturable PCB. It's got a schematic editor, it's got a simulation engine, and of course, it has a PCB editor. And one of the coolest features inside the PCB editor is the sub layout feature. So what is a sub layout? Well, it's a tool that you can use inside Flux to really quickly reuse old designs and put them together to make a totally new design. So in this video, we're gonna discuss what is a sub layout, how to access them inside the platform, and how to group them together to make a totally custom PCB. So a sub layout is kind of like a part, but it's kind of like a layout. A sub layout is an object that you can use inside a schematic that already has a pre-made PCB layout packed within it. So let's just suppose for a moment that you have a project and you've taken that project, you've made it a, a PCB layout for it, and you wanna reuse that PCB layout with another set of parts or another circuit in a new PCB layout. Well, a sub layout is essentially that portion of the layout and you just drag it into a new project. And so the, the, the parts library inside of Flux is what allows you to do this. Let's just take a look at this project for just a moment. So this is an Addit Fruit uh, DRV2605L haptic controller. So this is a breakout board. Now I'm in the schematics for this project and this project already has a PCB associated with it. So when you go over here to the PCB editor, you can see that we already have a board outline, we have all the components arranged everywhere, and um, we have it routed, and um, it's basically ready to go. Let's suppose that we wanted to use this alongside some other circuits or parts and create a totally new PCB. How can we do that? Well, if you're using a desktop program or maybe you're using an open source program, what you would have to do is take everything that's in this schematic and then you'd have to copy it into new schematics or you'd have to be using software that already has hierarchical schematic design capabilities built into it, which not all of them do. What you would have to do is essentially copy all of this and then copy all of this and then manually place all of it uh, in the PCB layout. And um, you might have to actually change some of this when it gets copied over. So in order to avoid all of that, Flux has this sub layout capability. And so what you can do is you can essentially copy this name for this project. And if that project is publicly available, you can then paste that name in here and then access that project. So the library feature inside of Flux is really cool because it allows you to access other parts and projects and components that other users have made available. This particular breakout board design happens to be something that is publicly available. So what I can do is I can go over here and I'm just gonna search for it inside of the library. And I wanna make sure that I enable this items with layouts uh, feature. So this filter is gonna ensure that everything that gets populated here um, has a sub layout associated with it. So then what I can do is I can just drag this over here and so in my new project, you'll see that a single symbol appears here in this schematic. But this schematic symbol has within it all of the stuff that you see in this schematic sheet. So everything in here is packed within this one schematic symbol. So once I do that, if I go over to the PCB layout, as soon as it loads, you will now see that I have a totally new board and I have this little module that I just dragged into my schematics that appears in my PCB layout. So it's totally reused and it was copied directly from the original project. Now, let's just suppose for a moment that I wanna to add to this. So if I go back to the schematic and I start searching for some other components, I can, maybe I can find something that I wanna to add to this. So let's just say I wanna add in an STM32 microcontroller. Let's go ahead and put that in here. And here, this first thing that comes up, this works. So as soon as I uh, drag this in, um, I can then go over to the PCB layout 
and you now see that this microcontroller circuit now also appears in the PCB layout. And all I have to do to get these two things to connect is just go over to the schematic and then start wiring up these terminals. So I'd connect ground and ground, I'd connect my you know, SDA and SCLs and I would route these over to some driver or something like this. Um, however you want to connect it up is fine. Um, but this sub layout contains within it all of these components that you see here in my highest level PCB layout. And again, I can just pick this up, I can take it, I can move it around, I can rotate it, I could move it to the back side of the board if I want to, whatever I need to do to create my new design. This uh, section of the PCB layout that essentially drags around as one big object, this is a sub layout. So in total right now, this project has two sub layouts inside of it. And you can just keep going with this. I mean, you don't necessarily need to know uh, the name of your uh, sub layout that you want to add into the library because with this filter feature, I can just start scrolling through here and maybe I'll find something that I actually want to use. Or I can go to the menu, I can make a new blank project, and I can create a custom sub layout inside of that project and then I can drag it in here. So let's just say one last piece, I want to add in this voltage regulator. Again, just drag it in here. Um, it's got an input, it's got its outputs. I would wire these up to the power ports on these components. And um, then when I go over to the PCB layout, you now see that here's a power regulator. So I can go on and on with this and just keep adding in stuff and I can arrange it however I want inside of this blank PCB layout. But um, the point here is that this was already created in another project. So this power regulator, and then uh, this haptic uh, controller, and then this microcontroller. Those were created in another project. And so as long as the original user made those uh, available for sharing, then you can go in and you can grab those and add those into your schematics and then use them in your new PCB layout. Now, another thing to note is I don't have to just use sub layouts uh, in these uh, in this uh, new project. You know, if I wanted to, I could say you grab this connector, let's say, and I could drag this in here, and then uh, maybe I can hook this up to, let's say, this SDA line. Okay, so now once I drag this in here, I can then go over to the PCB, and then you can see this connector already appears inside my PCB layout and then I can arrange it however I see fit. So here you can see there's already a pin header on this particular component. So you know maybe I don't want to have this extra pin header in this layout. Um, but that the, the point here is that I'm not limited to just using sub layouts inside this project. I can add other parts as well. So I can scroll through here and find whatever part I need and add it in here and start using it in my PCB layout. So this is a great way to reuse your old projects and build something totally new and really speed up the, uh, the process for designing a custom piece of hardware. So another really cool thing that you can do with uh, sub layouts, um, let's just say I go back over here to the original uh, project for this haptic uh, controller. One, one of the cool things you can do is you can actually go up here and you can clone or fork these projects. So there's a version control system that's built into Flux and that's going to keep track of all of these revisions to this project. And by cloning it, you could take something that you already like, you can take it and clone it and modify it, make it into your own piece of hardware, and then start reusing it in new projects as sub layouts. So the sub layout feature essentially treats all of your old layouts like parts. And you could actually take this design that we have here, you could make it shareable, and then someone else could come and take this PCB layout and use it as a sub layout in their project. And so that hierarchy goes deeper and deeper and deeper. So that is uh, our overview of what is a sub layout. Now, there are some best practices that you should follow if you are planning to use a section of your design or an entire uh, PCB as a sub layout in a new project. And so we'll look at some strategies for doing that in some upcoming videos. All right, everybody. So thanks for watching this. And uh, we hope that if you're new to Flux, uh, you'll go and you will uh, sign up. You'll follow along with our tutorials. You'll learn how to use sub layouts and learn to use all the other features that are built into the platform. Thanks again, everybody. And uh, we hope to see you next time.